When you worry about the future, are you trying to take over God's job? Hey, I'm Dylan, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's word in your life. When was the last time you got stressed out about the future? Maybe you haven't had time to think about it for a while, or maybe you were worrying about it just when you hit play on this episode. But if you're a Christian, you can depend on God to take care of every detail of your life. We'll read about God providing for even the little things in today's Devo called When by Hannah Howe. Do you ever have one of those moments when something from the Bible sticks out to you and it's just, and it's just what you need to hear? The other day, I had that kind of moment when I was reading Mark 11. As Jesus enters Jerusalem on a donkey, crowds of people wave palm branches and shout, Hosanna! Jesus is fulfilling a prophecy from Zechariah 9.9 that says, Rejoice greatly, daughter Zion! Shout, daughter Jerusalem! See, your king comes to you righteous and victorious, lowly, and riding on a donkey, on a colt the foal of a donkey. That Jesus is riding a donkey is obviously very important, but what struck me was how Jesus gets the donkey. When he's getting close to Jerusalem, he sends two of his disciples and says, Go to the village ahead of you. You will find a colt tied there. Untie it and bring it here. That's Mark 11, 1 and 2. If I'd been one of those disciples, and if I'd known that Jesus was going to need a donkey when we got to Jerusalem, I would have wanted to plan a bit farther ahead. I would have brought a donkey with us or sent someone ahead several days before to find a donkey we could borrow or buy or maybe do both just so we'd have a backup plan if one of the donkeys got sick or injured or lost. After all, if it was so important to have a donkey, we should be extra prepared. But that's not what Jesus does. He knows there will be a donkey ready at just the time he needs it. And there is. The disciples didn't need to plan ahead and make arrangements. God was taking care of all the details, and they just needed to do what Jesus told them to do when he told them to do it. In my own life, I often find myself thinking several steps ahead. And when I realize there's something I'm going to need later, but I don't have it now, it's easy for me to get stressed. While it's good to plan ahead sometimes, lately I've felt like God has been inviting me to let go of the worries I've been carrying, to trust him to provide what I'm going to need when I'm going to need it. It's okay if I don't feel completely prepared right now. My job is to just follow the king one step at a time. After all, he loves me so much that he was willing to go to Jerusalem riding on a donkey and face the cross for me. And he is so powerful that nothing could keep him in the grave. When I remember that, it gets easier to trust him with all the details of my life. So, let's talk about this a little more. What kinds of future needs do you tend to worry about? Consider taking some time to talk to Jesus about these, asking for his guidance and help, and resting in his care for you. Now, you and I can read what Jesus says in Mark 11 too. Go to the village ahead of you, and just as you enter it, you will find a colt tied there. And don't just take my word for it. Dive deeper into the Bible in Mark 11, 1 through 11, and John 12, 12 through 16 to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource from Keys for Kids Ministries. And do you love Unlocked? Did you know that we have a referral program where you can earn some merch? Well, the more friends that you share Unlocked with, the more points you can rack up. That means you can get merch like t-shirts, beanies, or water bottles, and more. So go to unlocked.org slash referrals, or check the inside cover page of your physical copy to find out more about it. And come back for tomorrow's devotion with Natalie, talking about how God doesn't love you because he has to, but because he wants to. But until then, I'm Dylan, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.